Hi friends, this is Suresh. I have 9 plus years of IT industry experience. So I will make a videos on .NET, Azure, Angular and SQL Server. So uh, today we are discussing about Azure Data Factory. So you know what is Azure Data Factory? So right, so Azure Data Factory will use it to, to fetch the data from different sources and perform some operations on it. Uh, then we can save it into the some destination. So consider um, uh, here we are considering um, this movies data as an example. So movies data have title, genre, year, rating. Okay. So uh, this is having uh, around uh, 10,000 records. Okay. So what currently we are doing, uh, we are just uh, getting average rating of comedy movies for each year. For each for each year, we are calculating average rating of comedy genre comedy. Okay, so finally, and we are saving into the in this format into Cosmos database. Friends, here we are taking the Azure storage as a uh, data source, and Cosmos database is the destination in this format. Okay, friends, let's start um, without delaying. So first thing I will show how to create a Azure Data Factory here. Okay, so create a Data Factory. So I'm just to uh, open already. So in the Azure portal, if you have an account, uh, you can go and search for the Azure Data Factories uh, like Home. Go to Home and search for the Data Factories. Then you come here. Uh, so I don't have anything here. So I can just creating. Yeah. So I'm using currently free trial so i have some resource group i selected that resource group uh, name is i'm just giving yt area of something 9868 um as it is i'm using uh, east us something uh, you can select uh, whatever location you want here and just uh, these are all same actually so that means i'm not changing anything networking advanced attacks anything so it's directly that is the reason i'm directly going to review plus create okay so now uh, it is ready so you can click on create yeah it is creating now okay next click on go to resource so now uh, here friends we should click on the launch studio um, okay then there we can write our uh, operations okay so here a uh, uh, few concepts we should know before uh, doing our, our actual thing that means uh, uh, some technical things for example linker service we should understand so i will explain what is a linker service uh, next thing is uh, we should understand data sets and data flows and pipelines okay these are required for this uh, for this video so first we will create linker service so uh, friends linker service is nothing but a connection string it it just pointing to your uh, source okay it contains just connection connection of the source of the data it might be destination or uh, source okay so here friends i already told we are considering here azure storage azure blob storage as a source i'm selecting that one so i'm giving the name movie source remaining as it is so here we, we are using authentication type is account key okay so i'm selecting my subscription is a uh, retail subscription and I'm, so I'm selecting my storage account friends already i created the storage account as well as azure cosmos db account okay here so that's what i selected same blob storage account if you don't know how to create blob storage account oh, please uh, go to the tutorial and uh, understand how to create the blob storage account it is not uh, difficult okay next next clicking on the creating that's it friends just giving the name and uh, selecting our blob storage account and authentication type okay my linker service is for source is uh, ready and i want to create one more linker service that is for destination okay so destination my destination is cosmos db no sql okay so just select continue so cosmos db now so cosmos db uh movies destination just doing like this okay let's see here also same authentication type is account key and azure subscription is a free type 
and I need to select my uh, Cosmos DB account already I told I already created okay so I'm selecting same thing and I'm selecting database name my database is locations so I'm just clicking on create so so my linked services is ready for source and destination friends now next we will go and um, uh, create our uh, data sets okay I'm click I'm creating data set so data set is nothing but a act data structure it is pointing or referencing actual data uh, it is it is completely depend on the linked set linked set having the connections but data set having the actual data okay fine so now we are going and select our blob storage because uh, our source is blob storage and our data format is csv format okay and click on continue here uh, name you can give um, movies source source data set okay and select our linked linked service here you understand right so linked service having only connection string not actual data path so here we are giving actual data path in the data set okay so here you can select uh, input so friends so our data is available in the input so input and movies under the movies movies dot csv okay now you select go and select the same file okay movies dot csv okay fine right clicking on okay so my data set is ready for the data source okay so actually here data preview is there if you click it will be able to see the preview data so i'm not clicking um so if you want you can when you're trying you can click it i'm clicking i'm creating one more data set so this will be representing the uh, azure cosmos db in sql so here you can specify the uh, cosmos db data set and linked service is this one already we created right that same thing here we need to select the container what is the container okay you can select the container our container is movies I given the partition key is here so already i told right we are uh, we are uh, saving the data here and average rating of the comedy movie okay i'm clicking on okay Okay, so two data sets are available um, created next thing is we are creating our data flow okay friends uh, better to publish all uh, what whatever we created these two uh, two data sets okay otherwise uh, what happen if um, if we are refreshing the screen it will be gone it will not save saved at all so when you are publishing it will be saved actually into the actual server okay it is a serverless so um, we don't bother about where the server is existing okay and uh, creating new data flow so here i'm just giving the data flow name is um, movies data flow movies data flow and here uh, we're adding source First, we are adding source. What is the data set? Cosmos DB no. So, what is the data set? Movies source data set. Okay. Fine. This is okay. Uh, yeah. Next thing is we need to perform filter. Right. I already told uh, we are applying filter and uh, here we are applying filter here and uh, here and genre. So genre filter. We are applying these both. Okay. So this is the filter we are applying. Okay. So incoming stream is source here. Actually, there is a expression builder so friends here um, here uh, everything in the csv it is a string 
so before so we should convert it into integer because uh, we are comparing the year okay what we are currently doing uh, here uh, here here you see columns are existing see we are selecting column here this format locally these are all uh, not required here as per now to integer so greater than equal to this is the condition we are applying that means what are the what are the movies released in between the 1910 and uh 2000 year so we are just selecting those movies okay we are filtering only those movies as well as we are selecting genre right so here genre we need to find it out from the uh genres genres what is the text in that genre okay my text is comedy okay. uh, to integer c here uh, no condition not written equal to 2000 yes fine this is the condition we want to uh, write here so what we are doing here what are the movies released in between the 1910 and 2000 year and the movie should be a comedy movie genre okay save and finish friends it is done right okay now uh, now we need to apply the aggregation so select aggregation here so here aggregation aggregate comedy comedy rating Finally, we need to aggregate comedy rating. Okay, so here we need to select aggregation on year, right? We need to select year. Okay, see friends, now we need to select group by is year and aggregation is we need to space give the column name. Uh, average, average movie rating. Sorry average comedy rating something i can give so here uh, again we need to write some expression right what how it, is, it will be calculated here you can select the average method is there and uh, what is the va value what is the column here so column is rating friends here rating is again string so we need to convert into uh, integer integer and we need to select the column rating fine so that's it friends this one so now we can save and finish right so next um, next thing is we need to uh, now we've done all the thing we know source we know the we done the filter and aggregation now we need to do we need to sync that is the destination okay the destination our cosmos tv right so uh, it is a movie sync finally it is a destination movie sync so what is our data set here so our data set final destination is cosmos db data set i'm selecting cosmos db data set so uh, friends that's it so we are done actually all the operations here now it is uh, ready to run okay so how we will run so actually uh, you see here it is a data flow so when you want to run it should be in the pipeline okay it should be in the pipeline so now i am creating the pipeline okay this is the pipeline time pipeline place so just to copy this move here our data flow i just moved to uh, pipeline okay so friends now uh, if you want to debug you can click debug uh, it will uh, enable automatically but it will take one minute time i'm just clicking on debug so here we can select how much time you want to debug so i just said selecting four hours clicking okay so it might take to enable data flow debug okay then it will start executing right okay so So it is enabled data data flow. Okay, 
now we clicking on debug so now you will see it will yeah it started execution okay see here if you observe there is a eyeglass okay so if you click there you can see uh, all these steps here our data flow so see uh, source is done filter is done so finally after filtering it will came 2000 uh, records if you see here actual data is 9000 records okay now it is performing actual aggregation okay once aggregation is done then it is data is moving into the cosmos database into the cosmos database See here in the movies actually uh, no data as per now okay so it is loaded just now uh, if you want to see you can click here 1987 okay um, here you can able to uh, see actually uh, I think timestamp it's not there uh, this is milliseconds okay so data loaded here finally so you will see uh, what is the status here so it's completed come if you want to see here go here and uh, you see this one you see here succeeded data flow okay it takes two minutes 11 seconds time processing 9000 records okay friends uh, see uh, if you want to see what data we uploaded uh, actually see this is the data we processed actually and uh, finally we got the output uh, in the cosmos database okay i will minimize this one sorry not this window this is the window okay see data is loaded here and you observe here 1996 1966 year and average rating is this one okay it's these id uh, these are all uh, additional parameters added by the cosmos database okay so 1951 average rating these two columns we pushed actually i hope you understand okay so thank you so much friends